Thank you for joining me. You know, some people have asked us, why does God hate if he is a God of love? Well, God does not hate out of an emotional outburst, but out of a righteous stand against evil. He hates what is evil not only because it is opposed to his good and holy nature, but also because it's harmful to us. You know, God loves everyone. He proved it by dying on the cross for our sins and rising from the dead. God loved us even when we were opposed to him, as Romans 5.8 states. You know, all throughout the Old Testament, he proved his love for mankind. He had Noah preach for 120 years before he brought the flood. Anyone could have been saved in the ark, but no one repented except for Noah and his family. He forgave the city of Nineveh of their wickedness and didn't destroy it because they repented. He also warned Lot to tell his family he would destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because the entire population was wicked. He delivered Jonah from the great fish when he repented. And he delivered Israel countless times from their enemies when they repented from their idol worship. Now, since God is righteous and holy, he must hate what is opposed to love and good. You know, Psalms 5.4 says, evil may not dwell in your presence. Now, we cannot love with a perfect love, nor can we hate with a perfect hatred, but God can because he's perfect. Now, I wanna read you some commentaries quotes about this hatred. Holman's Bible Dictionary, page 723 states, God's hate is not vindictive, emotional hate often felt by human beings, but is a strong moral reaction against sin. The Encyclopedia of Biblical Words, page 325 states, hate not so much as an emotional response, but as a value judgment expressed in a choice to have nothing to do with what is hated. Hatred becomes a dominating emotion that robs one of judgment and of compassion, but God's hatred is different. His hatred is always appropriate, focused on evil and the evildoer. And God's hatred is always balanced by his attributes of love and compassion. Because God is the moral judge of the universe, he must make distinctions between good and evil. Because God is wholly committed to good, he must react to wickedness and act passionately but wisely to punish. Then Matthew Henry's commentary, page 750, states, He hates nothing he has made, but fools of their own making and those he hates. And one more, Jameson Fawcett Brown, so their commentary, page 776, states, Not with the human passion, but holy hatred of their sin, which required punishment to be inflicted on themselves. Now, where does it say in the Bible that God hates? I'm going to read you a few scriptures. Psalms 5, 6 states, The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Abhor. That's a strong word. Proverbs 6.16 6, says, These six things does the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination. And it goes on to list the seven things he hates. Proverbs 8.13 says, And the froward mouth do I hate. The word froward means perverse. Psalms 31.6 states, I have hated them that regard lying vanities. Malachi 1.3, And I hated Esau. That's a strong statement. Psalms 4 uh, 45, I'm sorry, Psalms 45, verse 7. Thou love righteousness and hate wickedness. And then one more, Psalms 10, 3 says, The Lord abhorreth the covetous. And there's many more verses showing that God hates sin and wickedness. But you know, we as men are supposed to hate the things God hates. I just want to read you a few of those verses. Proverbs 13, 5 says, A righteous man hateth lying. Now David said in 119, uh, 104 and, and so forth, he said, I hate every false way. I hate vain thoughts and I hate and abhor lying. That's how we are to be, to mature to that point, to hate every evil way. Everything God hates, we should hate. Nelson's Dictionary, page 544 says, believers ought to love their enemies, as Matthew 5, 43 and 44 state, but hate their enemies' sins as Ephesians 5, 3 for 14 states, and Revelation 2, 6. Now, you know, but instead, uh, man hates God instead of hating evil. Listen to these verses. Jesus said in John 7, 7, The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, 
because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Then he said in John 15, 18, if the world hate you, you know it hated me before it hated you. John 15, 23, he that hates me hates my father also. That's Jesus speaking. And then one more verse, Deuteronomy 7, 9 through 11 says, God repays them that hate him. So there are people that hate God and, uh, and we are to hate the sin, not God. You know, as Christians, we are instructed to love all, not judge anyone and forgive everyone. But in addition, we are called to mature to the point that we hate what God hates and loves what He loves. You know, the Lord hates every evil way and everything that opposes His Word.